On this day, October 17, 1842, Honduras reacts by the occupation of Soconusco. On October 17, 1842, the President of Honduras, General Francisco Ferreira, issued an important decree in Comayagua expounding the reaction of the Honduran people to the occupation of the former Central American territory of Soconusco by Mexican troops. The decree in reference read verbatim. The president in whom resides the executive power of the state of Honduras imposed on the illegal occupation of the neutral territory of Soconusco, verified by troops of the Mexican Republic. Bearing in mind that the dispute over the territory must be initiated by the means established for any international dispute and not by the force that obstructs that spontaneous expression of neutral peoples and attacks the rights of Central America over that territory. Since all the states of the Union are responsible for defending the integrity of territorial rights in general, and there is currently no authority to represent them in the same way, it is necessary that the government of the state of Guatemala, bordering the Mexican Republic, be competently authorized for this purpose, and using the all-encompassing powers with which he is vested by agreement of the Legislative Chamber of 19 February. Decree Article 1 The Supreme Government of Guatemala is authorized to make the claims and protests it deems appropriate to that of the Mexican Republic regarding the occupation of the neutral territory of Soconusco verified by its troops. Article 2 it is also authorized to take all those steps aimed at maintaining the integrity of the territory of Guatemala, one of those of the Central American Union, whose rights are solemnly binding. And Article 3. Communicate to the Supreme Government of Guatemala for convenient uses. This will be understood by the head of section in charge of the Ministry of Relations and will arrange for it to be printed, published and circulated given at the government house in the city of Comayagua on October 17, 1842, Francisco Ferreira. It is striking that General Ferreira, a rabid enemy of the Isthmian Union, invoked it at every turn in the transcribed decree. When the Union no longer existed and Guatemala was not even a signatory to the Convention of Chinandenga, but the interest of the iron mulatto in defending part of the heritage of our elders, which immensely fell into the hands of Mexico in relation to Chiapas and Soconusco, is plausible. This was a day in the history of Honduras.